Hey Fucus, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here and showing all your love and support. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure that your post notifications are turned on so you know every single time that I post. Now let's tap into the messages real quick. What's the message for Fucus? Okay, so we have the magician here. Something is not going in this trickster's plans. Okay, whatever somebody's doing, the, the magic is wearing off or something is something is not manifesting here. Okay, because there is utter and complete deception. All right, Nine of Pentacles in the upright talks about somebody that's single, um, self-serving, somebody that's a hard worker or they work towards their goals, somebody that... Um, puts 100% in everything that they do. Somebody that's willing to go the extra mile here. But in reverse, this is somebody that doesn't have any discipline. Somebody lacks um, taking on authority um, authority from, from any authority figure. This is somebody here that will do anything by any means necessary. Okay? With the Knight of Pentacles, this is somebody that is in a rush to get something done that doesn't suit everybody's needs. I feel like there's some type of war that's going on, but whatever it is that they're doing to win doesn't claim a victory here. Okay? Let's see. Message. For this magician, why is the magician here, this Taurus energy? Something is backfiring on somebody that thought they were slick and sly. Okay. Whatever they wanted to manifest in the physical or spiritual, it's not working. Somebody is not empowered. Okay. Somebody wanted a big change for them so that you get the breadcrumbs of whatever changes you were expecting here. Over the last six months or six months to come, okay, you were supposed to go through some sort of like cosmic change or there was supposed to be some sort of triggered cosmic transformation or new beginning. I feel like I told you Page of Pentacles, uh, King of Cups, somebody thought that they, because they were younger that they would be smarter. No, somebody's young, dumb, and possibly broke, okay? Somebody here could be um, listening to Young, Dumb, and Broke by Khaled. Okay, somebody thought thought with their emotions rather than being logical, okay, or thinking that they can um, trick somebody through using spell work or magic here. Now they're scared. Yeah, somebody's scared, so they're trying to tap into their, their um, psyche, okay, because somebody was too naive, all right? Somebody is definitely going through positive changes. And is ready to heal, let go, and move on so they can fo have focus or take action towards some sort of decision that they need to make or that they avoided here. Let's see. I heard the word prominent. I don't know what this is about. Anyway, let's see. What's the message for Fucus? Okay, so we have love on the brain. Somebody could be dreaming, fantasizing, or in this nostalgic energy, okay? But I feel like this, this love on the brain energy may be misguiding somebody, okay? Somebody could be having um, stagnated memories or is choosing what they want to remember, but I feel like there's something about a person that may be blocking out catching a, a case or getting too caught up with someone here that they love, that gave them an STD, Okay, somebody here did not ask for papers or um, didn't have all the facts about somebody. Okay, all they know is that somebody was an unhappy female and, and you wanted to fill that void or they wanted to fill your void. Take it as it resonates here. Okay, let's see. message for Fucus. Ok, 
Okay, so we have that somebody was not able to dodge a bullet in, in um, a positive way. Okay. Somebody tried to turn your light to dark. Or it looks like somebody's not bothered by a person's um, shine. But then somebody remains in the middle or in the dark about something. Somebody uses their shadow side to not be afraid or intimidated by a person. What's this dodging bullets? Obsessive lover. Okay, so somebody here has a dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessive, karmic lover. Okay, that's obsessed. Anything else? Obsessive lover for a fecus. Okay, so somebody doesn't have any regrets about somebody doesn't have regrets about trying to keep the peace or whatever this is. Somebody here was far away from them picking up, you know, signs and synchronicities or paying attention to numbers here. Somebody didn't feel like something was a big deal or a need to watch out spiritually for someone okay we have police station at the bottom of the deck i feel like somebody's going to have to separate from someone or police is being called to separate two people or to take one person away okay there is some sort of um spiritual police that may not like the fact that somebody here is around you okay there are spiritual authorities here that wants to call a break in a connection because somebody is out for money or somebody's materialistic or likes nice things or there could be stipulations around a relationship in regards to money. Somebody is being released or somebody doesn't want to be free. They want to be tied down by someone that they can't trust, someone that may be hiding certain things or living a certain type of lifestyle. Okay, somebody here may be blocking out the fact that um, releasing them means that they have to delay or procrastinate some sort of karmic cycle or addictions or bad decisions that they've made in the past. Okay, somebody here feels like they're being haunted by not only the past but the present or what's catching up to them here. What's the message? Okay. So we have that somebody's not going to be shocked about um, resolving something or coming to some sort of agreement. Okay. About not trusting each other, not believing one another, that um, believing somebody would be like a, like a fantasy or whatever this is here. It's not real life. Somebody is just trying to escape having to heal, clarify, or uh, purify, or cleanse. What's the message here? A fucus. Okay, so we have coffin in reverse number 19. Message. And then imprisonment in the middle of the deck, we have courthouse. So it looks like something is not officialized or somebody here may be having illegal things going on, activities illegally, or there's something about a um, a, a falsified um, paperwork, judge, um, whoever this is here. Tell me more about this courthouse in reverse. Something could be delayed or stagnated okay some something could be held back mm, look false person somebody's acting like they're there they have some type of place in in the law or judicial system but they don't I feel like somebody is just using this as a cover to receive some sort of like um, I don't know some sort of paperwork okay Somebody could be facing imprisonment or uh, somebody could be held against their will, feeling bound, codependent, or something like that. Somebody here could be sending a letter to the warden or the jails or, or a judge. 
Okay, but I feel like the judge may be backed up with, with other cases or proceedings in court, now somebody here is trying to act like they're a part of the administrative, their the administration, okay, to, to figure out what's going on with this paperwork. Yeah, adjudication. Somebody wants to claim some type of victory, okay, or somebody here wants to speak on someone's finances, or um, not wanting somebody's finances to bring about some sort of change. Okay, somebody could be getting their marriage license together or whatever this is here. But I feel like something from the past may be resurfacing. Tell me more about this coffin. Number 19 here. Tell me more about this coffin. Okay, so we have the main female. So there is a non-important female from your past that you've been married to that is after some sort of like money. She feels like she's entitled to, okay? I feel like there is somebody that's an unofficial person or someone that um, may be a, a falsified cop, detective, or commissioner, whatever this is. I feel like somebody's being sent on their way or this person could be um, in a close proximity, okay? This person could be around a mature woman, okay? I feel like this mature woman could be leading this person to um, not give you some type of sudden wealth or allowing it to be stagnated here, okay? Somebody's name is Quentin or Clinton. Message for a fucus. Okay, so we have basket recognition reward for merit. So somebody here is going to be recognized for how fruitful they've become, how much work they've put into something, or how how much of an effort that was absorbed in whatever it is that they did. Okay, teardrops, we have great personal sorrow. Okay, I feel like somebody's going to be overjoyed, but they feel like it's it's going to be like just a quick fix to a situation or something is going to wear off quickly when it comes to this basket and the teardrops or somebody's home life or a temporary situation. Spirit is saying for you to, to not lose focus. Get back to basics here. Okay. What's the message for a fucus? Okay, the only card that's popping out. Damn, y'all. This card was upright and now it's in reverse. We have adventure. Something here is being stagnated. I don't know if this is somebody's flight or the need to go towards doing something or taking a leap of faith, but there is an Aquarius that may be facing some sort of, um, you know, delay in, in travel or going forward or something like that. Something hasn't been reserved or isn't ready, but it will be resolved though. Okay, number 29. All right, somebody's going to have the upper hand or something is going to go in your favor because you believed in yourself. You are worthy for this verdict of justice and the upright. All right. Let's see. Message for the, the fucus. Somebody's thinking and strategizing on their return. Okay, this is somebody that could have been rejected and left to feel abandoned. They feel like the cards are stacked against them and they are, and that they are no match for you. This is somebody that wants to save money by going into your pockets or living off of you or living with you here to save money. Okay, they, but they know that they are no match for you. You're out of their league right now. They just feel butt hurt because you decided to go in a different route or vice versa. Okay. Who is this person? 
that is thinking and strategizing on their return. It's a Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody that's very reasonable, is very headstrong, um, does things analytically. But um, I do see that y'all may have had a disagreement, and this is what caused a blockage in the communication. I feel like somebody, somebody could be hiding information or, you know, allowing themselves to get stuck in the middle, okay? And I feel like you were left to just drown so that you would survive or improve by yourself or having to heal. Yeah, you, you know how to heal yourself. Okay, not only that, but you could heal others here, or you are a star, you're in the spotlight, or you have some type of like, um, you know, public praise that you're getting, or you could be a social media influencer of some kind here. Okay, let's see. Some of you, um, this person that's strategizing on their return, they could be a Taurus, Virgo, Sagittarius, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, okay? Those are the signs, or they have those signs in their chart. All right. Let's see. What's the message? Okay, so we have searching. Okay, so we have online looking for info or records. Okay, so somebody that you don't have a magnetic connection or attraction to cannot accept the fact that you've gone away from them. They're having anxiety currently at this time, which leads them to looking up information about you or where you might be at or if there is some sort of change in your information or if you've changed your your name or whatever this is I feel like you need to secure your family home your environment at this time because somebody may have their their directions crossed or something like that here tell me more about this family and crossroads in reverse somebody is very um, unpredictable and I feel like because somebody is struggling emotionally from a past situation and not being able to, um, you know, reach out to you, somebody is thinking the worst that you might be dating someone else or that this news will come out, okay? I feel like um, somebody here could be trying to um, approach you through a fake profile, okay? And playing it off like they're someone that needs support or help. This is the way that they think that this faded meeting is going to bring y'all two together. But it might um, approach you by being silent. Okay, so it looks like somebody somebody's not impressed with a person's sex game or... Um, their ambitious lifestyle or what they choose to do or somebody here could be burning okay somebody here might be finished with their medications I'm telling you somebody was burning okay we already have it somebody was burning they finished their medication they 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 were cheating which is why they were burning somebody was in a karmic relationship or used that connection to a karmic to not make the right decisions here What's the message? Okay, so we got coffin and reverse. Something is not over. Somebody's not accepting the fact that whatever this is that closed up like a textbook, it's not over until it's over. Okay? Somebody feels like they might need some more time to heal or progress, but they haven't moved on. They're having closure issues here. Somebody, somebody can't accept the fact that there is no longer the unconditional love that two people would have had somebody feels like you've become so cold and and collected with your emotions in that respect i feel like somebody here may want to come to see some sort of change adaptation or healing or there's something that you're going to find out 
Okay, somebody here is going to speak their, their piece about how they feel, the passion or desires, chemistry, love, affection that they have for you. Somebody's name has the word joy in it. Okay, we have conflict and defeat. Somebody's going through a really rough time. Five of Swords energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I do see here that the Six of Cups, somebody here wants new and fresh memories, something that will put them in higher spirits or make them feel a sense of peace. Okay, but that is not the case. Somebody feels like they, they messed up two, twice to have triumph. Okay, so there is a need to get grounded with your third eye or speak your peace or um, come into having some sort of understanding or communication, but you're going to have to let loose of, of anything that is binding you away from your power. Okay, somebody needs to come back into the light. Somebody could be seeing the numbers 561 here. Let's see, tell me more. What is it that we need to know? Okay, so we have trickster. Somebody is a trickster energy. We've seen it with the magician. Can't make this up. Somebody here tried to trick you out of something. Okay, I don't know if it's tricking you into not believing. Whatever it is that you might have even found out for yourself doing your, med your medical check or go going to your my chart. Somebody here may have thought that, you know, finishing up their medication through something that they caught from somebody else through sexual um, interactions may have led you not to know the truth about their little sex capades here. Somebody stole, you know, that innocence or um, I don't know if somebody a virgin or not, but I felt like somebody stole a person's innocence of or honesty like that, that, um, how do I how do I explain it? Somebody here just just really stole your time, your your trust, just everything on a whole here to manipulate. Yeah, somebody used their romantic charm to cause you some sort of loss or whatever this is. I don't know if this is something that you have to live with or take medication for, but by the way that I'm saying it, it looks like it could have been something temporary. Okay, it doesn't matter right somebody thought that they could rely on you know m not material things but physical things that you could hold in your hand like pills a, a pill bottle to get rid of this so that you would never know but you were bound to know but somebody was just afraid of how it would would play out or ruin the connection or make them look stupid here. Let's see. Somebody's name is uh, Elijah. Okay, I heard that name. Let's see. Okay, look, we have Leech. Somebody is a bloodsucker, freeloader, or uh, energy vampire. Okay, this is a leech. Okay. Somebody may want to be alone or does things only for themselves to leech off of people to get what they want. This is why they don't want to let you go because you're an energy source. Okay, you keep somebody going. Somebody's jealous of the way that you're able to do for yourself. I told you morning after pill. So somebody here could have um, potentially... Um, got into a situation where interactions may have been made and there was a slip up um you know the protection broke or um somebody thought that a person may have ejaculated inside of them or whatever this is here we have reporter okay so it looks like somebody here is trying to get the 411 on a person's business or getting updates of something in the community here
I'm hearing the word outcast, or this could be the group outcast. Okay, we have pr uh, promo, success, and deals. So somebody's coming into some sort of like deal here that could be once in a lifetime or once every blue moon. I feel like whoever this person is, somebody is going to uh, be under some sort of beauty spell or somebody did a beauty spell in order to get some sort of endorsement deal, promo, or success. Okay, somebody was un unsuccessful in maintaining information on you. I'm telling you, whoever this magician Taurus energy was, you gonna be the rich girl or carry a rich girl mentality with this bougie era that you're coming into here. Yeah, you're, you're coming into the spotlight. Let's see, tell me more. message for a fucus okay so we have leaving a spouse somebody here is planning to leave a spouse we have that twice somebody doesn't want their spouse to go it may be on a t page uh shade room youtube reacting or recapping events okay i do see baddie bad boy king or queen status somebody's leaving someone that holds the title of a baddie bad boy or king and queen status I heard the word yay or nay, or the phrase. Okay, so we have a psych evaluation. I feel like somebody that you dated may have mental issues or needs to be evaluated, or whatever this is. We have out of the office working from home. We have a mutual acquaintance. Number 60, trans male. Okay, so somebody feels like a person that may be wanting to live their life as a woman may need a psych eval. Okay, this could be coming out of left pocket or somebody here in a group setting may feel like a person is taking sides and not making a person feel safe to have an opinion or whatever this is here. Okay, so somebody is releasing a karmic soulmate because whoever this karmic soulmate is has or carries sexual spirit demons. I haven't seen that card in a while. Somebody is bailing on a on a karmic soulmate that may carry sexual spirit demons. And even this this um this card here caught a case could be a spiritual, a sexually spiritual spirit demon, a sexual spirit demon, okay? Somebody here may be using a karmic entity to curse your children, but I'm returning that back to sender to power bind. Okay, this could be a brother or somebody that has a brother. Let's see. I heard chill out front. the message okay so we have a passive aggressive behavior i said chill out front okay sexually explicit text message and we have dealership somebody may have lost out on a deal or has to give up a vehicle or somebody won't sell to a person we have positive spiritual alignment we have karmic family member and we have karma's catching up to somebody It could be this family member that tried to sacrifice your children as their uncle, if they're a masculine, and they're your brother. All right, so we have gold teeth or grills. Somebody could have gold teeth or grills or specialize in selling that type of stuff. We have a business owner. That's why I said selling that type of stuff. We have hijacking of a plane or a vehicle. Okay, we have pressed... Somebody here that may own a business or that you have some type of dealings with, um, they're trying to press you and call you to figure out if you are still into keeping a secret or holding on to that secret. Pay attention to the things that you post or are being posted at this time as well here. All right? Anyway... 
a few kids that's what I have here for your current messages hopefully it resonates if it does be sure to like comment and subscribe and as always stay blessed and I'll see you guys in the next one